All right, what's going on today, guys? Today we'll be checking out Kyle Beats' new plugin. What is it called? I actually don't even know what it's called. Um, from what I heard, it's um, it's subscription based. So it's not. We're not off to a good start here. Yeah, it's working. Okay, we're good. I made my own synthesizer. Today's a very special day because my new synth plugin called Sandbox is now available. Sandbox is a one-of-a-kind instrument plugin with a built-in chord generator to help you, regardless of experience, create beautiful melodies. That's hard. So oh, this is why he had all, all those uh, influencers at his house recently. I was wondering why they were there. I was like, why are there four producers at, at their house? Like, that's too many to make a beat. Double clicks, you can turn basic melody ideas you have into beautiful progression. I think my favorite thing in here is if you click this, it picks a random preset. And if you click this, it picks a random scale and then you can just. All right, so you're probably wondering. It's not bad, but why do we cut to outside? How the fuck did you make a synth plugin, dude? How is that possible? That's... No, I don't, I'm not wondering that. I'm wondering what it is. <laughs> Sounds like an insane project and it was. <laughs> I clearly did not do this alone. So before I run you through the presets, all the effects, all the. I, I think he needs to stop saying he made the synth or he made the plugin, like, because Unless you're actually coding, I don't think you could say you made a plugin. The way a lot of these influencer plugins work is they basically like a company approaches them and is like, hey, we'll make a plugin and you be the face of it. You're like promoting it and whatnot. And they have like a deal basically. And if you break the terms or whatever, or if you don't continue the terms, then they get to keep it. That's what happened with Oversamples plugin before. Same features we put in here. What my friends thought, even the blind test we did with four up and coming producers, we got to take it back to about three years ago. Here I am, a young up and coming producer on YouTube with a dream. <laughs> is, this, is this supposed to be like a parody? Here I am, a young up and coming producer. The plugins you are, you are reminds me of a teenage engineering OP1, that's true. Hey, I'm actually trying to make a new plugin of my own. I wanted a quick way to make Why my- is the music so fucking loud? I think I definitely just kept seeing your drip plugin like mad times. I have an email dating back to like literally a week after. It'd be funny if the second part of that clip it was like, yes, and I wish that shit would go away. I fucking hated it or something. This, it's like pretty much since it went out and it had all the success it had. Why is the music so work. fucking loud, dude? I've had a reoccurring problem the past few years when it comes to- There's such a huge glaring problem with this video. Like, you should have explained to us more about it as, as opposed to why you made it. I don't think people care why you made it. Well, I mean, we might care why you made it if we are convinced that we'd like it. Convince us to like it first. Melodies, as you know, are the foundation of every beat. And it's usually what producers struggle with the most. Dragging in loops is cool and all, but I want to make my own melodies. And I find most of the time when I'm sitting down to make a melody, it ends up being those same four chords that I always play, or I'm just like mindlessly clicking around and not really getting anywhere. Throughout this process, what does a drip plugin do again? It sucks cock. It's like a multi-effect plugin that adds like a combination of effects and then there's just a bunch of presets. I shouldn't even say a bunch. There's, there's like a handful of presets, but it's pretty cheap though. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's okay. You should cut your hair just like him for the meme. Okay, maybe I will in the review. I don't know. I kind of don't really want to do that. The fact that we still have barely seen the synth is a red flag. My inspiration goes out the window. I close FL Studio and I leave. And there goes my music making session that I thought was going to be amazing. I wanted something that could spark my inspiration. Why did all these like up and coming producers have like the same haircut? What's up with that? Why? What is that haircut? Why does everyone have that fucking haircut? I believe that they're making these people in a, like a cloning laboratory. The Sandbox is not just an ordinary synth plugin. It's a synth like Serum. It's a sampler like Omnisphere. It has over a thousand presets with over 6,000 samples and oscillators. It has 20 brand new- It's not like a new thing though. That exists. Built in effects such as Retro, Vibe, which is my favorite, Detune. What is Vibe? One thing about his plugins is they always like take effects and then rename it to something that no one knows what it is in order to like disguise what it actually is. It has a built in harmony tool to create chords in any single scale you want. But the thing is you could already do that. Like you can do that with other plugins. It's fire. Any info that I've gotten back from producer. Imagine if he invited me to this, man. That would have been so fucking funny, dude. I'd be the only one like, yeah, but what does vibe do? What the fuck's a vibe? I don't believe in vibing. This plugin is just something for producers in a rush. Which is the past six years I pretty much put into this. Each one of these things has its own presets as well. And it sounds Sounds pretty been messing with this one three oscillators like this has two samplers right here and a bunch of effects we built 20 brand new effects just for sandbox there's a vinyl emulator called retro one of my favorites yeah. 
This vibe one's pretty insane. It's kind of like a cool. A cool what? <laughs> a cool what? Trippy little LFO. Each one of these also has its own it seems presets. Like a, like a wobble effect or something. Like and of wobble. course, the harmony tool, which you guys all know about. If I click on this harmony button right here, press power. <laughs> It turns whatever key you're hitting into a chord. It's cool because you can just do any scale you want. Like this, I've been messing with this Japanese 2 one like a lot. The harmony tool is good if you don't know anything about chords or if you just want to try something new. You can literally go as simple as picking the P sign to pick a random preset. Hmm, wait, this looks like it could be good. I would have to see how this functions, how the chord and how the chord thing functions. Because if you just play the same chord on different keys, that's not really that cool. But if you play, if you can play different chords on different keys, that could be really good. To pick a random scale. Or you can dive in deep and do whatever you want. Like you can go so in depth with this. This seems like it could have potential if it's done right. Yeah, this would take a long time to develop, I agree. Like this loop tool is one of my favorite things. You know, you would pay $400 just for a guitar pedal to do some of these effects. Dude, I hate the way they try to price things. Like it reminds me of like Unison Audio or something. It's like, what's the most you could pay for this? We should charge based off of that. Of course, you'd pay a lot for a guitar pedal doing that. It's a piece of hardware. Like it's an actual, it's an actual object. You can literally modulate everything here. So if I pick an oscillator, I'm going to pick a random wavetable in here. <laughs> I can just drag the LFO on anything I want. You can also drag it on effects. Everything can be modulated here. So if I'd put it on the frame right here, and then all sense do this. It's pretty endless. And right now, while you're watching this video, it's literally Black Friday and it ends in four days. So the first 200 people that grab Friday ends in four days. The sandbox. I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. Free mini kit to drag in your own mini and you're going to get a free one shot kit. Both of them are designed by me. You can literally drag into sandbox as well. Did I mention that? You can drag shit in here. There's so much in here. So go get it before Black Friday ends on the 28th. Just go to sandboxsynth.com. And um, let's let's see what everyone else thought of this plugin. That picked a random preset, and if you yes, let's see what all the people I flew out here think of this plugin that are not going to say anything bad about it. Okay, we don't need to see the monthly listeners. Haven't you seen my video, dude? That doesn't matter. <laughs> that's hard. See, that's perfect for me. I'm a <laughs> yeah. preset guy, so like literally, that's what I would do is load the shit up and start my. Game. I'm not gonna lie, that's me too. This beat sounds like shit. This beat sounds like absolute shit in the background. <laughs> it sounds like someone falling on a keyboard and then they're, both of them are falling down the stairs. That's fucking hard. I'm fucking hard, bro. Wait, wait, that's hard. I go back, wait. Ah, dude. <laughs> I already knew what they were going to say before they said it. They're definitely not brothers, but they look like they're brothers. Did they shoot this in the purgatory? Shot this in the purgatory. That's fucking hard. It's all fire. You know? You're going to get lost in it. There's just a lot of different combos you can throw. You won't have like beat block because you literally just experiment with anything. Yes, you can trust these testimonials that we uploaded straight to our channel. You know, we didn't cut out anything negative that anyone might have said. We also flew them out here. Okay, so overall, it seems like it has potential. The thing that they don't mention in this video, which is really weird, is it's fucking subscription based. Now, does their website mention it? No, not seeing it. Weird. I clicked on the download thing. It don't say anything about the price, but it says, when will I receive the plugin? Instantly after you make an account and enter payment info. Okay, so for some reason, it doesn't say how much it is, but then you give them their e your email and then they, they're like, okay, here, here's how much it is. Okay, so the fact that subscription plan made me not buy it, I just want to be able to purchase something and actually own it forever. 1,000 likes and it will make an option to buy it outright. Keep in mind, it'll be more than, way more than $77. Hmm, what should we do right now, guys? Should I buy this and check it out? $10? I mean, I'm going to review it anyways, so.